Hello, we as BG Safe, we are going to demonstrate the fulfilling of our full preventive device type 3 to the resolution IMO 1327. Why such device will be mandatory? In the past, some accident occurred during lifeboat drills due to an intentional opening of the release gear system, causing serious injuries to the crew inside the lifeboat and even fatal accidents. The result of the cause analysis has been that some of the onload hook design shall be modified, and new criteria have been established for the next generation of onload release hooks. These new hooks will be mandatory beginning of July 2014. Till replacement of non-compliant hooks, a full preventive device has to be installed as temporary risk mitigation. What is a full preventive device? Even if the name is almost self-explanatory, not everything that can avoid the falling down of a lifeboat can be called full preventive device. Features of a full preventive device are well-defined in the resolution IMO 1327 and the non-compliance to any part of the resolution will cause the non-compliance to the resolution as well. A full preventive device made by straps or slings shall either not made by wire or chain pass a functional test to demonstrate the non-interference in operation of lifeboat and launching equipment and made in a resonant fiber in construction. Have a safety factor of six based on fully manned lifeboat weight. And the material should be rot proof, corrosion resistant, not unduly affected by seawater, oil or fungal attack and UV resistant. The release of the straps or slings should be achievable quickly and easily without posing any risk to the operating crew designed to carry out the task once the lifeboat has reached the water. If the release of the straps or slings requires opening of the lifeboat hatch, it should be readily achievable by the operating crew at each device from within the craft. Once they touch it, the straps or slings should not interfere with the operation of the onload release gear or the propeller. We are now going to demonstrate that not any device connecting the lifeboat to the master link can be called a fall preventive device, even if it avoids the lifeboat drop. To make an easy example, not every orange leisure boat can be called a lifeboat, as well as a real lifeboat, but blue painted, cannot be accepted as life-saving appliance. This to provide evidence that all requirements of the regulation had to be fully fulfilled, with no exception. In other words, as the user guide Binko said, there is a difference between a secondary safety device and a full preventive device. As the forest said, the latter had to fully comply to the resolution 1327. Devices that does not respect the established criteria can be simply called a secondary safety device which shall not be accepted by the administration. Mm -hmm.